Alright, I'm back now. I think I gave this enough time to cure a little bit. Um, I did fix, while we were away there, I fixed the uh, some of the blue graphics that were chipped off. So, did that. And oh, I also painted in the little vents there on the hood. But you didn't really miss much. I'm going to go ahead and do the tail lights. I'm looking, I have to look at reference photos here online and I'm, it appears that they wrap, they sort of wrap around the sides. It's kind of hard to tell that, but. And it's hard to see what, what's going on there with the tail lamp, tail lamps, I guess you want to say, tail lights, tail lamps, depending on where you're from. Now I'm just freehanding these, but you could tape it off if you really wanted to, which I may end up having to do for that center section there. I still really can't tell exactly how they're wrapped around the side. I don't know what year van, what year this is supposed to be this van. It's a newer one because it has the lightning bolt side windows. But it's really hard to tell from the photos. Also, I did the two black holes for the exhaust a while, the two exhaust tips. I'm going to attempt to run a bead across, across the uh, center section of the um, photo. Some cars, some of those vans have a chrome strip there, some have a red. I think I'm going to do red. If it looks like hell, I'll just fix it. I already, I already don't like that. I just made it a little too thick. So sometimes you're going to have, you're going to have uh, mistakes. I don't like I don't like that at all what just happened there but that's I might be able to fix it here then or just take it back off if I can I'll probably have to somehow tie them tie these lenses in to one another I think for now it's going to do it and then I'll I have some other tricks up my sleeve here to get those lenses fixed, fixed up a little bit. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I need to do on this. Oh, that's where we got to do the front, the front headlights there. Let me uh, work on that a little bit. 
we'll get a base coat down and then Okay, so there's a base coat for the headlights and I'll have to come back. See, this is a problem too, that some of that wasn't cured yet and I just smeared some of the uh, blue on the side right here. That's okay, I can just take that off. No big deal. Because a lot of times you can fix whatever, whatever you mess up there can be fixed. All right, I'm gonna let that cure and come back and finish it up. All right, I think uh, basically done with this. I'm going to be wrapping it up. And I sped through the last section mainly because I lost the audio from that portion. For whatever reason, my microphone apparently was not turned on. So I thought I'd just kind of make it faster and, uh, so the video is not as boring anyway. Uh, I did fix the tail light in the back. Basically, what I do is I, it's kind of a technique I've 
done for a while, but I can take a, a Zacto blade and kind of go on the side and just kind of basically shave off what I don't want. And it's, it got pretty straight. So I'm pretty happy with that. Fixed uh, some of the graphics on it. I fixed the headlights there where I had some of the headlights got kind of smudged because this is a problem when you do some of these videos and not waiting for things to cure in between. You'll end up sometimes bumping with your parts you don't want that are still wet. So I fixed fixed some of the things that were kind of got smudged on the last clip there. But I'm pretty happy with it overall. I think it's pretty wicked looking. I think just adding even the tail lights in the back really helps a lot. Gives a lot more visual interest. And did the carbon filler panels where the mirrors would be. I think it turned out pretty cool. All right, so that's it for this video. And till uh, next time, I guess I'll see you guys later. So stay tuned for more. Since they seem to be pretty popular, I've I got a lot of nice comments about them. So thanks for checking it out. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. All right, bye now.